<laughs> this is basic stuff everyone can do at home. Brock, what have you done to the floor? Oh, I cut all the floor out. So much for just moving the engine forward 20 mil. Holy shit, oh, man. We're going up. We're going up. Up. You've cut a lot out. Yeah. Do you, know what, do you know what you're doing? Uh, I hope so. I am on a different level to these guys with when it comes to modifying your car. You just cut the floor out. Um, okay, so how did that come about? Because when I left here yesterday, you said you were just going to bring it forwards and maybe get like 10 mil. Yeah, then I I did do that. I came forward a little bit yep. and came up 10. I still had the pan about 20 mil under the rails. Okay. And because um, it's so low, I don't want to run it with any exposure to the pan to the ground or speed bumps or ripple strips or anything. That makes a lot of sense to me. They're plastic and expensive. <laughs> wow, you just don't want to be stuck. You want to keep being able to drift. Yeah, that's right. Um, so what's, uh, how much room is this going to give you compared to just doing what you were going to do yesterday? This should give me about 8 mil of the pan above the chassis rails. Yep. And then I'll put an aluminium bash plate underneath the whole thing as well. Yep. So that'll protect it even more. But, um, and we'll bring the motor up a little bit. The motor was much further down than it needed to be. Yes. But it'll also be good for my engine sump, which was a little bit low too. Right. So everything's going to be better. Man, this is going to be such a sick build. I cannot wait to see this finished. Guys! This is another episode of Zebra 60. I thought I'd just film straight away because I wasn't expecting Brock to cut his floor out <laughs> of his car. Wow. Well, you, you're committed now. Yeah, it's definitely, do it. It's definitely yeah. getting an 8 HP <laughs> now. All right. Um, I guess we need to work out a plan and I'll update you guys shortly. Brock has the engine lifted up on this side. We've got Daniel here helping. 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 He's just ta telling us what we're doing wrong. <laughs> um, Brock, that's, what is this? Uh, my new engine mounts. But I you made just... 20 mil tall engine mounts. So, I don't know, you just designed it in CAD and then... What did yeah. you... What? Cut it on the CNC plasma, and we bolt it together, bolt them in the car and lift the motor up 20 mil. It does look basic very stuff. factory. This is basic stuff everyone can do at home. <laughs> <laughs> everyone that's got a CNC plasma and about 20 years experience. Dude, that looks pretty cool. And you've even got polyurethane mounts. Yeah, some super pro bushes in there. You just whip them up. It blows my mind. All right, let's see if it actually lifts the engine up and it's going to make this gearbox fit. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love. But the fake is if you want to play tough and want to hate this, I'm going to show up and make a statement. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love. But the fake is if you want to play tough and want to hate this, I'm going to show up and make a statement. Brock, is that a real gearbox mount? It sure is. It's a somewhat temporary one so the last that the audience saw oh, it is a new day just so everybody knows the last that the audience saw you were just assembling your custom engine mounts they are in the car which we're going to show people right here and he's, he's raised the engine up how much did you end up raising it it's about 30 mil at the moment well actually we can tell because the pan was sort of in line with the cross member and now it's up from the cross member and what that has done hopefully i get it on the right profile but if we now line up with the chassis rail the 8 hp is nice and safe so you have a rear gearbox mount and i just thought i'd mention uh, this gearbox mount here is the factory 5 series single point mount the earlier models and the one that we used on the flomax car was from an e-series with a 6 hp 28 or 6 hp 26 that's why this bracket looks different to what's on the flomax car but single mount's going to be right yeah for now it's a this is going to be somewhat temporary there's a bit of an alignment issue that I'm not very happy with. with In the, fact, the way the gearbox sits. We can probably show the audience that. We'll get the light out of the way. But yeah, actually, I might need the light. Hopefully, you guys can see. We can see this part of the gearbox is much lower than this part of the gearbox. And apparently, that is an issue with the PMC adapter. Yeah, I'm not stoked about it, given that auto transmissions are normally very level level yeah so you might have seen in the very first video that we did in this series which was the last video um the pmc adapter was a bit weird so it is a multi-fit adapter it's for n57 m57 gearboxes uh and also i think it fits the n54 manuals as well doesn't it it's a huge list of engines sorry a huge list of bmw gearboxes that you can actually mount up to a 1jz or 2jz with this adapter where we started to get lost was it, we found it difficult to actually bolt it onto the 8hp 70 
And then we started looking online and I'm starting to think, and Brock kind of agrees, this might be a product that's not quite right. And it comes through Drift HQ? Yeah, that's right. We haven't spoken to them yet, but I'll um, reach out to them and see what they say. But it looks like it might be an early prototype yeah. or something like that. Not the end of the world. The gearbox is in. Um, and it's going to be at least two weeks before this car's driving. Yeah. So you've got to make some other stuff, yeah. especially since you cut the floor out. <laughs> um, so it's not the end of the world. But if anybody's done a 1JZ, 2JZ to an 8HP conversion with a PMC adapter, let us know, please, if your gearbox was level or if it was on the... Uh, on the piss. All right, Brock, what's next? Next, we'll start mopping up the trans tunnel. Oh my God. Get all those cuts nice and straight and make a bit of a skeleton, make it out of cardboard and start making it out of steel. Well, let's have a look at that. I still can't believe he just cut the floor of his car out. All right, let's have a look. So as it is actually coming up 10 past six on a Saturday night, we're probably not gonna actually get this tunnel finished today, are you, Brock? No, not, not finished. <laughs> but what is the plan? So you've raised the gearbox up, about 30 mil so it's 30 mil higher than it would fit with a standard um standard transmission tunnel yep so from now i will make a skeleton out of wire mm -hmm. using four mil round wire and then i'll use that to make measurements to make the sheet metal tunnel and we'll pull the motor and box out and weld all the tunnel in once we fabricate it, it, is it how's that going to go with your factory trims like your center console and stuff um i think the dash will be fine but the trim that comes down to where the factory shifter surround is, I might be able to just cut it down so it sits a little bit lower. Yes. Um, if not, we might do some fiberglass stuff, Ooh. but that's a later problem. Okay, we've got to get it working for this drift event. Dude, I still can't believe you just cut the floor out. And you did it so quickly. But you got to do it. Different league to me, different league to me. All right, guys, I'm going to end it off there. Um, again, if anybody has experience with the PMC adapters to the 1JZ or 2JZs being twisted, please let me know. Uh, like I said, the website doesn't show as many holes as this one has, which is kind of weird. Um, yeah, and I'm hoping it's just a, a weird production run or something and we can get the right one instead of having to remake that because it'll be a bit annoying. Um, yeah, dude, this is going to be sick. You getting excited yet? I'm very excited. Yes. The trans break's going to be a good time. <laughs> oh, how's the bonnet clearance? Um, it's fine. Perfect, actually. I was going to say, are we going to have a problem here? No. Can you raise the engine? Oh, no, you're good. No, we're good. The slats are perfect. Well, that's one thing sorted. All right, guys, we're going to end off there. There will be another update this update video to this during the week. Thank you all for watching. We will catch you on the next one. Thank you, bro. Anytime. <laughs> all right, guys. Oh, what's that thing?